Hello and welcome back to my channel. I should actually just welcome myself back because I haven't uh, created any videos in a very long time. But something just made me want to do a card reading today. Uh, maybe because I just did an interview and it just um, really lit me up on my purpose. <laughs> because when you talk about what you do, it, you know, it's like you get rejuvenated of you know what your purpose is in life and what you're doing and all that. And I guess kind of listening to myself speak, I'm like, oh man, I got to start doing videos again and do some, you know, energy updates and we'll just see what the cards want to say, at least for today. Um, but I will start making more videos. So anyway, for those of you who've been subscribers and are back, hello. And for new people, I welcome you. I hope to deliver to you. Uh, I don't know, insights or inspiration so that you can live your best life, so you can love your life. And, you know, that's my website, lovemylife.coach. So, no idea what the cards are going to say. We do know, I'm just shuffling them up and we'll pick them, um, you know, in a minute. There is a lot going on in the world, as everybody is well aware. Um, but it's a time of change, you know, old systems are dying off. We've been talking about this for a long time, you know, it's, it's an awakening. We're moving out of third dimension up into higher dimensions, right? From 3D to 5D, um, from being controlled by all the stuff in the world and things outside of us keeping us down, like these old systems that are falling away. Um, we're waking up to realize how much actual control was being put on us or should I say keeping us down from really knowing our true spirit and moving into that energy to create beyond whatever is going on out there um, it's not an easy thing to do but you know that's law of attraction right it's like the energy that you put out is the energy you receive back so it's a little hard when there's so much chaos in the world to keep that high vibration and um, you know hold on to your own uh, dreams, your goals, what you want in life, um, without all this fear of it being taken away from you, because that's what's out there, right? I mean, look, people can't even speak freely anymore. I mean, it, it's gotten to that point where it really, we, it's time for everybody to wake up and start owning your own power and owning your right as a sovereign free being of this planet so that being said i don't know if that's going to play into anything to do with the energy uh so let's just figure we're talking or we're asking for uh energies for july like what what's going to be going on in july maybe there'll be some inspiration in these cards that'll help us to um, maintain a high vibration, looking forward to good things to come. I think we've been inundated with everything that can go wrong, right? Everything that has gone wrong, but you know, it all serves a purpose, right? It's all to bring us further and move us into this next way of being where we know we create a reality. We're not gonna let things get in our way. We are gonna stand by our rights, and uh, live our life. So let's just pick an angel card. I'm gonna take this one uh, from Kyle Gray. Oh, get the light out of there. Okay, so that's angel guide uh, deck. And uh, I'm gonna need these. Definitely gonna need these. Okay, so let's get this card. What do we have here? Oops, deck was upside down. Inside out, upside down, inside out, and Let's take, all right, transformation. Okay, we already started talking about transformation because that's what's going on, believe it or not. I mean, we're always transforming, right, growing, but um, there's major transformation taking place in the world today. So let's see what he has to say about that. Transformation. So the message is, let me get that light out of my glasses um you are ready to move beyond energies or situations that are no longer helpful to you to make space in your life for something more purposeful 
You may feel a real need for clearing out at this time, not just physically, but mentally and spiritually too. As you move, as you remove the clutter and the debris from your world, you welcome the energy of transformation. Like a butterfly emerging from its cocoon, you're ready to move beyond previous limitations of your life. You're moving away from stagnancy or even the feeling of being left back um, or and, and just taking heavy energies out of your life and making room for the light so that you can fully embrace who you were born to be. Yep, that's it. I've been doing a lot of work with people just clearing out these old energies to bring in that. And that's all I do anyway, to bring in that light so you can create the life that you desire. So there's an extended message here. It says, when this card appears, angels are acknowledging the emotional and physical transformations that have been taking place in your life. They can see you more clearly now that you have released the old fusty thoughts and situations. So it's a new word to me, fusty. Um, there's a feeling of renewal now and you're moving into a space where you're more comfortable than ever with who you are. You have a spark of splendor burning in the depths of your being and this spark is creating positive loving experiences for you now. It's time to enjoy the benefits of your commitment to your growth. So yeah, that's perfect because that's happening collectively and individually. And if we can just hold on to like, really, like you got to get into your heart and hold on to your truth that you are here, you are creator, and that you are connected to the everything and that you have help in spirit, like your guides, your angels that can guide you to different things. So the more you can hold this higher vibration of good things to come, you know, even if you just create a, a mantra for yourself and like things are always working out for me because obstacles are thrown at us. So that we can um, kind of sift through and sort through and be moved into the direction that our soul desired when we came here. Um, and again, that's happening on the planet too. Like these old systems, these negative energies that have been, um, you know, manipulating us for so long. They're losing their power. Right? We're not going to stand for it anymore. We're going to own who we are. And we're going to create a life that we love no matter what is going on out there, right? So the more of us who can hold this energy of, no, I've got this. I know what to do. I'm a creator. And just do it or even pretend to do it. So, so maybe some people that's too much of a reach, right? But you can create stories in your mind pretending um, things are going the way you want them to. And I tell you what, the more you pretend that, and hold the energy of what it would feel like if those things, when those things, or as those things are occurring. So, like for right this moment, you might not have what you're moving towards, right? But if you can decide what it feels like, because maybe you don't know what it feels like because you haven't experienced it. But if you can attach a feeling to it, why not attach the feeling of love? Everybody can find the feeling of love to these uh, desires and even if you feel you can't do it for yourself you can pretend to do it for yourself okay we can we always have that ability to um pretend like okay what if this was really happening what would that feel like how would that be what would i do like live in that space because the more you hold that high energy as all this transformation is going on the easier you move through it and to where you're meant to be all right See how that sits with you. Um, okay, so then I want to go to um, Sonia Choquette's um, Trust Your Vibes. That's her Trust Your Vibes deck. And uh, it's always a fun deck. So let's see what we have in here. All right, I forgot. I already shuffled them up. So let's take this. And instant feedback. Huh. Okay, I like it already. Let's see what she wants to say about instant feedback. Uh, number nine. Okay, so instant feedback. We have, it's time to expand your sixth sensory toolkit and learn to use kinesiology or muscle testing as a means to get an instant vibe check on matters at hand. 
Okay, so this is really trusting uh, your own knowing. And if you're not sure that you totally trust it, you can do muscle testing, right? So uh, I actually, I'll, I'll find, I think I have, I know I have a video somewhere. I'll find it and I'll hook it up in the, um, I'll add this, this uh, video to this one, a link to it so that you can go and do that um, on how to muscle test, okay? If you don't already know. So muscle testing offers quick, quick and reliable feedback because when you're doing it, you, you know, you're always asking for like a yes or a no type of an answer, just like when you use your pendulum. And um, so if you're not sure, you can tap into energy that way, right? Because your guides will let you know through, well, your body, your whole system will let you know through the, ener the energy of the muscle testing. So muscle testing offers quick and reliable feedback when you can't access or don't trust your normal intuitive channels. The simplest way to muscle test is to find a partner who's willing to work with you. Next, place your right hand on your belly and raise your left arm out to the side. Think of your question, making certain that it can be answered with a simple yes or no. With your question in mind, ask your partner to push down gently on your extended arm using the pressure of no more than two fingers. If the answer is yes, your arm will resist the pressure and remain strong and unmoved. If the answer is no, your arm will lose energy and power and drop to your side. It's as simple as that. Remember, the key to is you have to use yes or no answers. So uh, you can just try that right now for yourself if you like. Um, that That's a very easy way to do it. And then I have um, a couple of other ways in that video that I'm going to link in to, um, to this reading. Okay, so... We've got transformation, and then we have instant feedback. So, so what's cool about that is um, you're going to be getting so good at instant feedback, you won't need to muscle test for clarity. <laughs> I mean, you can use a pendulum too. I, I have videos on that too. Maybe I'll link both of those, right, to get answers when you're not sure, because maybe you're just kind of new to it, um, or you never really trusted your trusted it. Or someone else maybe did it for you and you felt they got the wrong answer. Always trust yourself. First and foremost, always trust yourself because because you know. Uh, it's just a matter of you understanding how much you know and being able to tune into that and trust the energy as it comes through. So, yeah. This transformation that we're going through is going to make these abilities, all your all your six sensory ability come, you know, really come in. And I, I've worked with a lot of people who are like, I, I, they just know things much more easily than they ever did before. They're picking up on, they're picking up on all sorts of things. <laughs> uh, me too. I feel it. I feel it growing stronger and stronger where things just flow easier and easier. So let's see what this deck wants to tell us. I love this deck. This is Colette Baron reed um, the uh, Enchanted Map. And what do we have? It was upside down, metamorphosis. So it makes a difference when it's upside down. Uh, to what the message is for this deck. So, that's a nice, nice card, nice picture. Okay, metamorphosis. Number 25. Whoops. 24, 25. Metamorphosis. I'm interested in what the reverse message is. But the message for the metamorphosis card is that you are in the process of deep and beautiful change. <laughs> I love how these cards always work together, right? Yeah, we're transforming, metamorphosis. So in the reverse position, it says, there are times of chaos and darkness that occur, much like the growing pains experienced by the caterpillar who is in the process of becoming a butterfly. There is a tendency to expect the worst when the first signs of difficulty arise. That's old programming, by the way. That's falling away. So just know that that's falling away. Um, oh, sorry. It says, uh, there's a tendency to expect the worst when the first signs of difficulty arise when something is taken away or unwanted circumstances come to challenge you to let go of old ideas about how life is supposed to be. You are not a victim. Rather, you are experiencing the temporary discomfort that we all must go through before the beauty is revealed. Yeah, so once again, this is happening globally. This is happening individually. It's happening in your circles of 
people who you who you love, who you interact with. I mean, it's everywhere, okay? And so a lot of it that looks like it's just terrible, it isn't. It's just part of this transformation of moving us out of this way of living through uh, struggle and accepting how those things are out there or even just all of the control that's been put on us on us has been has stifled our own inner knowing. Like we don't trust it. We're, we're, we brought up not trusting it. Okay. When we were younger, um, you know, well, it's like fluoride, you know, mercury in, in the fillings in the teeth. There's all these different things that are, maybe were designed. Well, they are, I believe they are to suppress our knowing, right? Because, there are some who want to be able to control everything for us. But that's not how it works, right? This is about you owning who you are, that you are a creator, that you are energy, and that you have the power to heal yourself. You have the power to create new opportunities. So like when you get rid of these energies, you know, like through energy clearing, right? Um, when you get rid of these energies that are kind of heavy on you, right? We start releasing that energy. So much more light comes in. So you become more of your truth of who you are. You expand into this energy that is creation that allows you and assists you into moving towards those things you would love, that you desire in a much smoother way. Okay, there's always lessons to learn along the way. But, you know, we've learned a lot of lessons. Okay, let's move into now being us and creating wonderful stuff, not just for us, for everyone to be able to freely love and help and honor all the people around you, right? We're all one. There really is no separation and no differences. We're all love. The only differences are the ones we've been brainwashed to believe. Okay, I'm going to start getting political. <laughs> I don't want to do that. But the truth, is, that is the truth, right? So we need to, and that's the thing, Truth cannot be stopped. Truth is that you are light. And so truth is coming to show you that you are light. And as this truth of who you are is coming in, it's exposing all the things that are not true. And there's a lot of that out there. Okay? A lot. And that's where all the programming comes into, or, you know, you got the mainstream media wanting you to believe whatever the heck they say, but nobody's believing it anymore. Because we're waking up we're thinking for ourselves through our heart, not through the fear they've been laying on us. Yeah, think about it. It's all fear, worry, things to really turn your gut inside out to where you don't even trust the intuition that wants to come through, right? We're waking up, man. We're, we're like, we're, we're stepping more into our own light and our own abilities and there's nothing that can stop it so get on the bandwagon of really owning the transformation going through the metamorphosis using your instant feedback to tell you what you already know but we got all this stuff all this subliminal programming and subconscious beliefs and things that have been that we've picked up along the way and we're the creators we we allowed it to happen i hate to tell you we did um but now it's like no more no i'm gonna be who i came here to be whatever that is and maybe i don't even know what it is yet but i know that the more i stick to my truth and i trust my gut that support i have in spirit is going to assist me along the way and like there's no such thing as coincidence the right things will show up at the right time um, it always does. Even those things you think aren't so good, they could be part of the plan so that it moves you into the direction where you need to go, where you're meant to be. So, I don't know. See how that goes. Um, I'd love you to comment. Uh, let me know if anything in this video resonated with you. Um, let me know anything you want to tell me. <laughs> to listening to the comments i like interacting with people in the comments area so um i guess that's it for now and i will see you on another video bye